ahead on News 4 Brockport. ROTC students are learning to become soldiers right here on campus. We'll show you what they're learning and the skills they'll take with them long after college. Also, a Brockport student is helping others launch their career and building his own in the process. Find out what his new business means to him. Finally, Brockport is bringing fashion and style to the forefront right here on campus. See who took the crown at Brockport's Next Top Model. All this and more coming up. News for Brockport starts right now. Hello everyone, I'm Kayla Green. And I'm Terrence Dickey. Let's get started. The Brockport student government is giving students incentive to seek out academic advisement. Last Tuesday, the Academic Success Center held its debut tabling, Chew on This. There, students enjoyed the free nacho bar, icebreakers from the Cauldron of Chew, and information about free tutoring on campus. Visit the Albert W. Brown Building for more information about academic advisement on campus. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and the men of Brockport are slipping on a pair of red heels to show their support. On Wednesday, October 3rd, BSG held Walk a Mile in Their Shoes, a march to stop sexual assault and gender violence. There, students walked around campus, wrote inspirational messages, and educated themselves on sexual assault. Walk a Mile is part of a worldwide event to benefit RISE, Rape Intervention and Education Services. Thousands participated in this fun event while still getting the community to talk about sensitive topics like sexual violence. The Walk Your Way Fashion Club hosted their second annual fashion competition, Brockport's Next Top Model. This year's theme was a night in Paris held in the Union Ballroom and it was well attended. There was food, dance competitions, and live performances from local artists throughout the show. Nine models competed for the esteemed title. The show consisted of three rounds based on several categories. Minerva Spencer won first place and the 2018 title of Brockport's Next Top Model. And now we'll take it to Kyle Izard with sports. The IIT men's hockey team opened their season Saturday night. Ben Vahey has the story. The RIT men's hockey team opened their season Saturday night versus Wilfrid Lawyer University out of Canada. First period, the Tigers strike first. Alden Dupuis scores his first goal of the night. RIT takes the early 1-0 lead. Later in the period, Dupuis not done yet. Here he takes the pass and shoots it top shelf. Tigers now up 2-0 at the end of the first. Second period now, the captains get involved. Abbott Gerduckis passes it to Eric Brown. RIT up 3-0. And then after a Wilfred Laurier goal, this was the play of the night for RIT. Mark Logan finds Will Calverly for the goal. That would be more than enough for RIT as they go on to win their home opener 5-2, the final. It was a great way to open the season for the RIT Tigers men's hockey team on Saturday evening as they defeated the Wilford University Golden Hawks 5-2 in their exhibition home opener. Alden Dupuis scored two of the team's five goals for the Tigers, and here's what Dupuis had to say after the game. It's always always great to score goals. Uh, didn't do it alone, though, of course. I had help from my teammates, you know, get me the puck. And, you know, I think all around we, did a, we had a great effort tonight. We have some things to fix, but I think that was a great way to start the season. Next up for RIT, they hit the road for a weekend series with UMass Lowell before returning to Rochester on October 20th to head to the Blue Cross Arena for homecoming versus Colgate. We're not going to be back in this building for a long time until November, so it is going to be a little bit different, but um, you know, that's the way the schedule is, and it's not bad. I, I, you know, when you've got a new team and all that to get on the road, I know kind of cliche-ish, but it is true to uh, your focus is just you know playing games. Reporting from the Gene Policini Center, I'm Ben Vahey. Talent TV Sports. In NFL action, Stephen Hoschka hit a 46-yard field goal as time expired, lifting the Buffalo Bills to a 13-12 win over the Tennessee Titans on Sunday. Buffalo's defense forced three turnovers, and LaShawn McCoy broke from a September slump with a season-best 85 yards rushing. McCoy sparked a decisive drive with a 13-yard catch on third and three, and backup running back Chris Ivory had a nine-yard run, getting the Bills across midfield. Rookie quarterback Josh Allen scored on a 14-yard touchdown run, but was held in check as a passer. He finished 10 of 19 for 82 yards and an interception. Buffalo 2-3 bounced back from a 22-0 loss at Green Bay last weekend. The Bills travel to Houston Sunday for their fourth road game in six weeks. It's playoff season for Major League Baseball, and so far history has been made, and teams are continuing to get closer and closer to possibly competing in the World Series. Here's the latest. Brock Holt made Major League playoff history while helping the Boston Red Sox blow out the Yankees to take a 2-1 lead in the American League Division Series. The Red Sox infielder became the first player to hit for the cycle in a postseason game, going 4 for 6 with 5 RBIs and 3 runs scored in a 16 to 1 slaughter in the Bronx. The Red Sox will try to wrap up the series in New York. The Houston Astros will be well rested when they begin the American League Championship Series. 
The Astros completed a three-game sweep of the division series by scoring 10 times over the last three innings of an 11-3 thrashing of the Indians in Cleveland. Houston now awaits the winner of the Red Sox-Yankees series. Meanwhile, the Los Angeles Dodgers have knocked out the Atlanta Braves in a four-game National League division series. And that's a look at sports. I mean, yeah, the Red Sox and the Yankees, I mean, you know, they've always had a great rivalry, so I feel like, you know, they're going to go tip for toe to the end, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Who do you think is going to win the World Series? I think the Red Sox will win the series against the Yankees, but I think the Brewers are going to win the World Series. They've won their last 11 games, and they're hot going into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. An interesting take. Mm -hmm. We like it. We'll find out. Time will tell. All right. Well, thank you, Kyle. Thank you. Yeah. ROTC students in the ROTC program here at Brockport are becoming well-rounded individuals in their classes, labs, and new friendships. I was able to go out with them during one of their lab days and see what goes into becoming a soldier. Take a look. They're communicating with each other so that everyone knows what's going on at all times. For senior Elizabeth Ryan, trekking through the woods like this is just a normal day in the life of an ROTC student. ROTC, which stands for Reserve Officer Training Corps, doesn't only teach students to become soldiers, it also teaches them to become leaders. Sophomore Jesse Dupre says the program has already changed him so much in just a little over a year. You think about things you didn't think about before, you think about the way you walk, the way you stand, the way you talk. And that responsibility doesn't come easy. Junior Nadia Thompson Lawrence says she likes applying what she's learning in the classroom to a real life situation. And we're gonna actually go out into the woods and find the points that we just plotted on our map. That's the extra portion of ROTC that, that really gets us to get that hands-on experience. Mm, probably just over these rocks. Dupre says being part of the program is like being part of a family. That you're not just representing yourself in uniform, but you're representing all those people who would sacrifice their lives to protect you, to be your, your buddy when you're in trouble. And belonging to that tight-knit group is a lifetime membership. ROTC students graduate with a degree and as a second lieutenant in the Army. At the end of the day, they're building their own character and influencing others in the process. I think people, uh, they see the changes in you and like how you start to develop as a soldier and that can inspire them to try to do something bigger with themselves. Thank you, Sergeant. In Brockport, I'm Kayla Green. Brockport student Otega Robinson is helping artists of all kinds make a name for themselves through his business, Blacklisted USA. Blacklisted USA is an idea Robinson came up with over the summer. The point is to find unique and up-and-coming artists and help them get their work out there. Robinson works with musicians, studio artists, designers, and more. Robinson's goal is to build a family of artists and develop his brand. I wanted to build a community of it because I wanted Blacklisted USA to be the one place you go to for one just dope designers like people that have talent you know elite group of designers you know stuff that that you don't see every day stuff that that you can't walk down the street and see someone else wearing if you'd like to see the full interview with robinson and learn more about this mission check it out on our website talenttv.org so terrence what do you think about this project I mean, I think it's really great. You know, I know a lot of our generation is trying to stray away from record labels and things like that. So to help anybody that, you know, wants to become independent and, you know, he might have knowledge, you know, of what they need to know. I feel like that's just really great. A great opportunity for them. I completely agree. I think it was a really good idea to put all different kinds of artists and designers under one umbrella. And that kind of gives yeah. people a central place to go. So yeah. I think it's great. Definitely. That's all the time we have for News 4 Brockport. I'm Kayla Green. And I'm Terrence Dickey. We'll see you next time.